Welcome to Jumpin' Jacks, and guess who's back? This sounds boring for you. Number two, world's okayest brother. Thank you so much for my very okay sister for the shirt. Thank you guys for tuning in again to another Facebook Live. I'm freaking bored in quarantine. How you doing? <sighs> the topic for today, I didn't think of it, but I think I, I had an idea on my calendar. Talk about economic problems of the quarantine was what I thought we could talk about today. So I'm going to invite a couple special guests on... Uh, <laughs> Uh, to talk about the economic problems of the quarantine with me. What do you guys think about that? Does that sound okay? Great. Here, let's let's get agile. We had some great action yesterday. For those of you just joining, I am going live every weekday this week at 8 a.m. Colorado Standard Time here at about 10.30, 6 p.m. Philippines time. So just kidding. That, that means... Uh, <laughs> to 8.36 a.m. I think in Colorado or something. So um, anyway, so I just invited Poor wireless connection. That's what Facebook Live just told me. That's the last thing you want to hear when you're in lockdown, is a poor wireless connection. Ahmed says, call me brother. I can't, I can't call you, brother. I'm, I'm on Facebook Live. I can't make a phone call. My phone, my, oh, there it is. My phone's right there. I'm live on Facebook. But I do have a Facebook open on my computer, you know, in case. Uh, here, let me, yeah. Wow, geez, I have a lot of messages. Why are these messages not coming through here? Anyway, so today I was trying to buy an Xbox. I really wanted to buy an Xbox today because I'm so bored. And I almost bought an Xbox from a friend when I told him that I wanted to use it for Fortnite. And then he found out that Fortnite was cross-platform and he said, sorry, man, actually... I can't sell it to you. So I started searching online for Xboxes and PS4s because I want to play Fortnite, okay? Does anyone play Fortnite? Could you comment below so we can play Fortnite together if you play, if you play Fortnite? That would be freaking great. So um, I literally have people helping me uh, search for Xboxes. It's actually very difficult to, to uh, buy an Xbox here because there's not much... Uh, how do I... Okay, can't... Okay. Um, it's really hard to buy an Xbox here because I don't really want to buy... I don't want to send money without checking to make sure this Xbox works. And a lot of people don't want to send their Xbox without making sure I pay. Because, you know, a, a lot of things are COD here. And for those of you out in the US, you'd probably be asking yourself... What is COD? And it stands for cash on delivery. This is still a highly cash-based society here in the Philippines. Did you guys all know I'm here in the Philippines? If you watched yesterday, you probably knew that. And quarantine's crazy, okay? Um, so, so yeah, cash on delivery is still kind of uncomfortable because if someone were to send me their Xbox, I would still need to take my Xbox upstairs, plug it in, make sure it works and hooks up the internet, and then 10 minutes later come downstairs and I would actually give my money to the driver 
who would then drive the cash back to the person who sold me the Xbox, which is, in my opinion, very um, inefficient. But I think uh, I think there's a so that everyone who's working at home here in Philippines, you know, there's a great opportunity to um, make a type of marketplace like an Amazon or Uber, add more reviews so people can trust what they buy on the internet. I think that's a huge opportunity here in the Philippines. So um, yeah, that's just like a side rant. Um, hey guys, we got a couple people here: Curtis, Katarina, Mariel. Hello, good morning, good evening based off wherever you guys are. Tiffany, good morning. How are you guys doing? Tiff, what is your biggest complaint about the quarantine in Denver, Colorado this far? I bet it's, um, I, and like, how are, how are your pets? Are they even like uh, upset about it at all? Are, are your dogs social distancing? Anyway, um, where was I? Businesses that are suffering during the quarantine. I, I tend to think about the optimistic or opportunities more than the uh, things that aren't going well. So sorry if I go out on an optimistic rant, like the opportunity to have better payment here in the Philippines. I downloaded an app here in the Philippines to pay for stuff, and it's called coins.ph coins or something, I think. And I actually, a lot of sellers of these Xboxes that I'm trying to buy want me to send money to their bank account. And I'm like, what's your bank? And they say some Philippines bank, and I'm like, I think I pulled money out of an ATM from that once before, but I've never heard of that. I don't have a local bank account. So how am I supposed to pay? It's either cash on delivery or who knows? So I found this app called Coins, Coins PH, and I'm able to actually send Bitcoin from my Coinbase account, my US Coinbase account, to the Coins app here. And then this app actually allows me to send money to people's accounts which is great. So um, they're helping solve the problem. And I don't know, this is probably an expat problem. It's probably a problem for foreigners like myself who don't have local bank accounts and permanent addresses and permanent phone numbers here. So um, yeah. So I know, Tiff, pumped about the dogs. It's, it's great that you're forced to give them so much more attention. So um, anyway, is anyone from Philippines watching and do you have any advice on how I can buy an Xbox? Okay, now that the important thing's out of the way, let's talk more about businesses that are suffering, okay? I had a couple in mind, okay? Obviously, everyone's heard restaurants, bars, right? Those are closed, they're hurting. In the US, they're trying to dump money out of that. I don't know if anyone's gotten their money yet. So um, let's see, someone is chatting me separately. She says, connect your PayPal or a debit credit card to the Gcash app, and you can transfer money to any local bank in the Philippines via mobile. Thanks, Nema. That's a great piece of advice. So, um, cool. Does that mean I can pay with cash with a credit card? That's cool. Can I get points while I pay with cash? I'll check that out later. You know, I downloaded the Gcash app on my phone. I downloaded Gcash and Coins PH. I think that would be a good way to make payments. But then the next problem is everywhere. So here in Philippines, Amazon can ship here actually. And that's new as of the last year, which is pretty cool. But um, they also have two other big marketplaces similar to Amazon, okay? Lazada and Shopee. And they're okay. I'm really thankful they're around, but they're not Amazon. Hello, Keston, welcome. We are talking about how to buy an Xbox in the Philippines when everything is locked down. So, um, yeah, there's Lazada and Shopee, similar to Amazon, not nearly of the same caliber or quality. Um, Neva says that's how she shops during lockdown. Good, good to hear. But I thought they're only delivering basic goods, which for me, survival would be an Xbox right now. Um, and like a ton of other things, like to be stuck at home all day. I got to this unit here that you're looking at like 48 hours before the lockdown. I barely had enough time to get a haircut and a massage and some Korean barbecue before getting hunkered here. I ordered this monitor. I think you can actually see the reflection of the monitor in this painting. That's my monitor, it's, it's right here. And I'm so glad I got it. I got it from Amazon. It costs only about 50 or $60 to ship and it got here in five to seven days from the US, which is pretty cool. But um, obviously it would be easier if I could buy locally, but actually Amazon is doing such a good job. There's so many sellers in Amazon, their customer service is so great that it was easier to buy from Amazon and get something shipped, ironically, from Denver, Colorado to California to 
Korea to China to Manila, and that's where this monitor came from. Um, it was one day late, which is impressive considering the lockdown. Lots of things aren't even shipping. I ordered a Monopoly set from um, Shopee about one month ago. I haven't heard any updates, zero, zero updates actually. Um, and that's kind of where the Amazon equivalents are, are at right now. And all the sellers, the sellers don't really have reviews. Um, the locals here that have told me, they've told me to be careful buying on Lazada and Shopee. Sometimes there's scams, which is just something you flat out do not need to worry about with Amazon. Because for me, if there's ever a problem, Amazon is going to refund me sometimes even before I ask about it, which is outstanding. But um, it just shows you that great customer service is not a surprise that that's behind one of the world's most wealthy entrepreneurs out there. So um, I, keep, I keep getting distracted, guys. I'm sorry, but I, I guess talk going back to businesses that are suffering during lockdown, retail stores are all shut down, right? Like almost everything. Uh, I think, well, actually there are some, when I'm thinking about open businesses that are open here, there are like maybe less than a dozen restaurants that will deliver to me on Food Panda. We have Food Panda out here instead of Uber Eats. I think a panda is way cooler than Uber Eats. It's like a Food Panda and it's, it's a pretty pink app and it, it works. It's pretty slow, but it gets food and I'm not starving. In fact, I need to exercise more because I'm eating a lot of food. But um, yeah, that's the scoop. Um, otherwise, like looking downstairs, the hardware store is closed. Every other restaurant's closed. Some of the smaller uh, boutique stores are closed. You can't buy a, bo a pair of boxers anywhere. You can't buy shirts. A lot of laundromats are closed. My gosh, let me tell you guys about my laundry experience once I got here. So um, I got here 48 hours before the lockdown and the lockdown began to get more strict. Before I flew here to Philippines, I had a bachelor party with Diego Cedillo at, in Las Vegas with five other guys. And then I stayed with one of my mentors, Braden Pollock in Los Angeles. And um, after that I came here. So I actually already de needed to do some laundry. And I gave about 70% of my clothes to a laundromat and then the lockdown happened and I didn't have 70% of my clothes for about a month and that sucked. And uh, you know, I don't have a washer and dryer in this unit. Most units don't have them here in Philippines because it's very affordable for someone to pick up your laundry and bring it back to you folded. Uh, that costs me about four dollars. Hey Marge, what's going on? How's Denver? Huh? Oh wait, no, no, different Marge. Hi Marge, how's uh, Manila? Um, so I didn't get my clothes for like four weeks. Shout out Panda Laundry, not to be confused with Food Panda. We like Food Panda. We don't like Panda Laundry, okay? They kept my clothes for four weeks and I finally walked past and the door was Closed, the sign said closed. I'd walk past it maybe seven, eight times just in case they were open. Uh, they didn't respond to any phone calls or text messages even though they had 70% of my clothes. And they did respond on Instagram and they said, sir, you cannot have your clothes. We're on lockdown per the government. Talk to you on April 12th. And this is on like March 13th. I'm like, so um, walked past, I saw people in there. It was this past weekend during the holiday. I imagine they had a ton of clothes to wash and tons of other people were angry that their clothes weren't there. So um, I knocked on the door, I said, give me my damn clothes, I don't care if they're clean. And um, got the clothes, got my boxers back. That was a good day. But um, it kind of sucked. So I don't know if, I mean, luckily in the U.S., a lot of you guys have washers and dryers, you know? It would be really nice if I would have been in my house in the U.S. Could have just washed my clothes myself. But I really hate folding them. So, at least they came back folded. Um, so, I don't know if laundromats are suffering here. I assume so because the government told mine that they had to shut down. Um, barber shops. Dude, we need you guys. We need you. All of us guys out there are like... I'm 12 years overdue for a haircut. And you're like, what? What did you say? And all their hair's like this. And they're like, I'm 12 years overdue for a haircut. And ah, yes, you are. Me too. So, um, 
Yeah, barbershops, we need you. We want you guys to open back up. You know, I think one of these following mornings, I'm going to have a, a live talking about why this quarantine should be over. Political topic, right? Some people are getting pissed when I'm saying that. Other people are like, yeah, but uh, I'm going to say it again. This quarantine should be over, right? Like, I think there's a point where, I think there's a point where the health benefits, or I, I guess the, the, the health benefits are, it's, it's better to look at this negatively. Less bad news for health issues, it's, it's hopefully getting less. Hopefully less of you are hearing bad news related to health issues, whether it's for you or others. But for finance, a lot of people are running out of money who are out of work. Um, I just, I had a screenshot of a message here and someone said, I think I'm going to die of hunger before I die of the virus. And um, that's a great example of where all of us are headed if this lockdown and quarantine does not end soon. Yes, I'm sure. And, and think about it. If the quarantine were to end, are you going to run up to strangers and stand right next to them? No, you're not. Right? We learn from this. If everyone can leave their house and go back to work, we're going to be a little bit smarter. Now, there's definitely places where there might need to be some rules and instructions, like uh, anywhere that's cramped, busy, busy coffee shops. You know, social distancing is a good thing. Um, it sounds like, I didn't do the research, but it sounds like it's a, a good thing. And some coffee shops, you know, some popular restaurants, uh, nightclubs, stuff like that, probably probably need to be very careful if there's a lot of people going into a, a small space, but there's a lot of places that could open, you know, and especially now that everyone's been working remote in the entire world who still has work, well, now it's okay to work from home and your employer might not demand you to come into work. Maybe they have the important people come into work that need to be there for in-person tasks and leave the rest at home. So um, I think we could definitely open up some businesses and, uh, cut this uh, financial pain everyone is experiencing sooner if we were a little bit smarter about all of this. So, um, yeah. What do you guys think? Uh, there's more people watching tonight. Hey, Russ, how's it going? Um, there's more people watching tonight, but you guys are so quiet. Uh, for those of you just joining, I'm talking about why I think this lockdown or quarantine needs to end soon. Because... Um, you know, health health is important, and it's good to force people to not infect each other, right? You have to protect the uninfected, and that's the only way to stop an epidemic turning into a pandemic, and a pandemic from blowing up like it has in New York. You have to protect the uninfected people, and of course, you have to care for the infected people, but that's where the problem is right now. There's too many people needing care, and if all of us go out irresponsibly joking about the coronavirus, like it's something that's not gonna hurt us. That's where, that's what overfloods hospitals, from what I'm reading in the news. But I don't know, I'm sure it's different in every single region and county and neighborhood and every single country and city. Uh, who knows, I mean, all you see is what Facebook shows to you or what Instagram memes you're looking at or what is showing up for your Google alerts, I mean, the interesting thing with all of this is how much control do we actually have over what news we're seeing, right? Like when you like something or when you engage with a piece of content, that social network is going to show you more things like that, right? So like a Republican is going to go and like Fox News and then they're going to see more Fox News articles and they kind of go down this rabbit hole. Where someone else who hates Fox and wants to watch a different news source or wants to watch an indie writer you know, talk about conspiracy theories, they're gonna go down this other rabbit hole. And um, it's kind of hard to know, we don't know how the algorithm works, so you don't really know what news you're seeing or how that's being used to control you if we're being controlled. I personally don't think we're being controlled. I think companies are out there trying to make money off ads, but that's okay. Uh, what do you guys think about Apple and Google partnering up? That's pretty crazy. They want to partner up, two of the world's biggest companies, biggest tech companies, they want to partner up and get a ton of data about everyone. Um, if it can stop the spread, great. But at what expense? You know, everyone is scared right now. We're all very full of fear that, you know, our family might 
catch the coronavirus. Our, our older, our older folks might catch the coronavirus. That is very scary. But, and as important as that is, just don't forget that if Apple and Google ask you and everyone in your building to agree to share your location with them, and your your phone's ID, you know, now they can see what iCloud you're signed into. Google can see what Gmail on what device you use, and then suddenly you uh, you are sharing your location at all times with two, at least two of the biggest companies, and no one reads the privacy policy. You just click agree, accept the terms and conditions, agree, and move on. I sure do. I, I do save copies of those nowadays, but yeah, I mean, that data that you give to them is going to be available 10 and 20 years and longer into the future. So think twice about that because you don't know how it's going to be used. You don't know how it's going to be sold. You don't know how it's going to be hacked. Be careful with your data right now, guys. Now's not the time to make too many decisions out of fear. Even in a pandemic, you need to think hard about what decisions you make and what information you share online. Um, so that's about it. That's about it. Um, all right. Well, you guys are kind of quiet today, so I'm out of here. Short one today. Peace out.